Coming up on Wife Swap. Two women worlds apart. A controlling mum of two who's obsessed with pinching pennies. I am an absolute guru at saving money. Grab the cheapest one if you buy in bulk, safe. And a free-spirited mum who spends every dollar on fun. You could die tomorrow and your mortgage is still going to be there. But when they swap lives, their world is turned completely upside down. Honey, I'm home! Kids, we're running a bit late. So annoying. Shut up, Troyer. Certainly not going to waste money because it's just unnecessary. Boring. Kids and husband do nothing. We just sit down and go, no, if you want to do it, you can do it. Until... They don't realise how psycho I am around the house. The new mum calls all the shots. The super savings plan starts now. I don't like your rules. Suck it up, little one. I'm not having fun at all. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, seriously? I'm gonna have to talk to my missus about that. I hate it. Give me your phone. Now. When the couples meet for Judgment Day... Like, you would have a lot more if you just reined it in a little bit. The kids didn't ask for your dream to get mortgage-free. Who will be... Oh. ..the better parent? Don't even look at me like that, mate, because you enjoy it. <gasps> so shut up. This is Wife Swap. Since I was a young and only thing I know Even though you got bread, you can always get more Cause it's all about the money, money, money Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, hit me on! 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 Oh, God,
I think the new wife will struggle here. I think she'll struggle with my schedule. She is just going to be under the pump. Like, our days are just crazy, and I can't imagine someone else stepping into that. The new wife has got big shoes to fill. How many clip clops she taken? Well, you just never know when a girl needs her dancing shoes, Brenna. I'm just ready for, like, the challenge. I'm ready for the kids to experience it. This is what we're all about, is adventure. And to me, this is just another adventure. I'll be like, are you not entertained? <laughs> it's exciting. I am taking my label maker, my permanent marker. This is a bag? Oh, this yeah, like this a box. One. My fluorescent labels and paper clips. And with those four things, I'm going to be able to achieve a lot. Be really good to the new mum, OK? Panina, she's not going to like anyone that doesn't take her advice, because she'll have advice for them, I can guarantee that. How that's going to get taken, let's, let's wait and see. <laughs> hmm. See you when you get home, right? I'll see you soon. See ya! <laughs> if she has an inch of her that is not perfect, good luck, new wife. The wives travel to opposite ends of the country as they get ready to move into each other's home. I just really hope that they're not, like, so strict and stuff, but I don't want to have to do routine crap. I believe I can really help people with my systematic approach to life. Can't wait to see inside all their cupboards. I think we're here. It's on like Donkey Kong. Very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Before they meet their new family, OCD Panina and fun-loving Kelly can judge each other's home. Wow. Hmm, fake plants. More fake plants. Oh, my God, there's, like, 20 fake plants in here. It's very cluttered. It's very, um... Uh, organised. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck. <laughs> As if you wouldn't know what that is. Oh, fuck. I'll clean that later. It's a really messy wardrobe. I will be colour coding this. And I'll probably get the fridge out of here. Who has a fridge in their walk-in wardrobe? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, moving on. <gasps> what in the hell is all this frozen food? Fucking hell. What the shit is this? Does she home bake all this shit or is it caught and put in a container? That's just. What do these people eat? Ooh, it's not nearly as organised as mine. Oh, not another fruit. <gasps> oh, shit. It's lunches. Why not just be normal and just do it on the day? Disgusting. <laughs> Each wife has written a household manual, which describes exactly how to run their home. I'm Panina, and I am a stay-at-home mum and full-time blogger. I wrote 40,000 saving tips on my savings website. Oh, my God! You can't spend money when you're dead, so live it, love it, and learn from it. We spend $2,600 a month on food and entertainment. I spend $250 a month on food. So I'm already ahead of this mum by over $2,000 a month. Like, that pays my mortgage. We are working towards mortgage-free goal. You could die tomorrow and your mortgage is still going to be there, doll. Come on now. Where's this living? We have two children, Saxon, 14, and Coco, 8. School is high on our list of priorities. Boring. You can't always teach kids life in a classroom. I'll happily take my kids out of school to go to the movies. In this house, everyone has chores. <sighs> the kids help me a lot, really. Sometimes they turn it into a competition, so cleaning is fun. There's not really much family time unless it's cleaning. 
I do absolutely all the cleaning. My kids and husband do nothing. She needs to get them working. My kids are going to be so happy. Richard is going to just lose it. Concerned by each other's way of parenting, both wives put on a brave face to meet their new husband and family. Well, hello. Hello. Richard. How are you? Kelly, nice to meet you. Kelly. How are you? Hi. Saxon. This is Saxon. Hey, darling. Coco. Coco, my name's Kelly. Nice to meet you. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm Brendan. Nice to meet How you. How are you? That's my daughter, Hi. Toya. Hi. Hi. That's little Jetty. Little Jet. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's Snoop Dogg. Very cute. She's probably dying to meet you. Oh. I have to admit, I laughed when I looked at all the labelled stuff. She's pretty organised. She's very organised, yeah. and that, to me, is classified as an extreme. It looks anal, but I'm telling you, it is amazing how mm. relaxed it makes you feel. Richard is definitely protective of his wife, and it's the way the household is run. So I can see us kind of being like, my way, my way. Were you expecting like this? No, or? well, no. I, I'm really pleasantly yeah. surprised. Like, yeah. like, I'm quite regimented and I'm a real planner and a yeah. strategic type of person, which yeah. you'll probably find out. Yeah. But you guys seem to be real seat of your pants kind of flow with life. We're a bit different like that. Yeah. But um, sense of humour, my God, how could you live without one? Yeah, exactly. So, whatever. <laughs> oh, he is so much more, yeah, so more than what I was expecting. Yeah, to hey, oh. I thought you were, like, going to be, like, a real strict or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know. <laughs> I think she's going to have a bit of a struggle with us because when people ask us to do stuff, we just sit there and go, no, if you want to do it, you can do it. He has to clean the house. Well, for the first three days, anyway. <laughs> You never know what you're going to get. I'm not here for a long time, but while I'm here, I'm ready to change this family for the better. It's day two of the social experiment. So what's for breakfast this morning? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. And fun-loving mum Kelly has swapped lives with strict mum Pernina. Latoya. If you could just get ready and then we'll go have some breakfast and we'll get going. Okay. And Kelly, who believes kids should be kids... Do you want to do that one, Coco? Yeah, good on your sax, thanks. ..is offended by seeing the Peterson kids being made to do household chores. Watching everyone work as a team and get it done quick, that's cool. But in saying that, there's too much routine. I don't see any fun anywhere. Horse. 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 Horses. Pig. Pig, you changed it. <laughs> Not fair. So what are you doing over there? What are you calling out? We just try and make it fun, so Coco has to come up with a name for anything that comes out of it. Right. If a cup's a pig, it's got to be a pig all the way out. Ah. So if there's more cups... Horse. Horse. I just don't see how they can consider that the kids doing that is fun. I just... It's, it's driving me nuts. Get ready for school, my friend. Do you normally have a shower in the morning? Um, yeah, but I had one last night. Oh, OK. This house is totally different from mine. People just kind of hanging around, doing their own thing. At the relaxed cow's house, OCD Panina attempts to get two disrespectful kids out the door. Shut up, Toya. Jet, would you mind brushing your teeth? And then we're going to head off. Jet, my friend. Jet? All right. This would never happen at my house. I don't think they know what they're in for with me. They don't realise how psycho I am around the house. Don't be long. But working under old household rules, Panina can't handle the lack of structure. Routine is important. How are you guys going? Getting it done? Mm-hmm. Maybe um, try and hurry a little bit. Otherwise, kids don't have a sense of responsibility. Kids, are you coming? We're running a bit late. I'm not your kid. So annoying. Jet, we've got to go. 
It's stressful. We would feel like we're imploding. Off to school. I'm ready to change this family for the better. I don't care what they think because they don't know what they need, and I do. Back at the Petersons, obedient children Saxon and Coco pack their lunchbox, which is Kelly's worst nightmare. Lunches. The dreaded frozen sandwich. What do we got? Sambos? Good work. Oh, I don't want ham. The frozen sandwiches have been me out. The whole concept of it not being fresh is really strange, and I just think it would be manky as hell. So does the meat ever go slimy? I, I haven't... Noticed it? Yeah, I haven't noticed it. Right. The bag will sweat. I bet he wouldn't come home and say to his mum and dad, the sandwich was shit today. All right, what do you reckon, guys? Here we go? Yeah. All right. See, See ya. Later. Bye. If it works, that is a good tip, but I'm just not convinced yet. Meanwhile in WA, Panina continues to operate under Kelly's rules, taking a swipe at how she manages the cleaning. My kids clean their own rooms, so I wouldn't normally make their beds or take their laundry out or clean their rooms. But I'm Kelly, so that involves cleaning the kids' bedrooms. So Kelly does three loads a day. Ooh, what's going on in here? It's like, I don't think that's washing. This house is totally different from mine. There's no baby in the house, and I've found nappies. We've got systems in place, and always cleaning. And we're more of a team. We get a lot more done. It's harder for Kelly because the kids don't help. Oh, we're going to have this tonight. Super suey. Oh, God. Still not convinced that bulk cooked frozen food saves money. Kelly obeys the household manual and prepares one of Panina's $1.50 family meals. All I keep seeing is money, budget, money, budget. It's not, to me, it's not fresh enough. Like, I just want, like, real food. I'd pick this up and give it to Snoop Dogg. Mm. Money shouldn't be a factor, whether it costs an extra dollar or, like, it should be fresh. This just feels like I'm just slopping it all in a plate and serving it. It doesn't feel like I've accomplished anything. How are you, Coco? You hungry? Yeah. He wants to be more his free and I got it. The parents are aiming for their future. Thank you. Thank you. Is that enough? Perfect. Is that too much? But then you gotta think of the kids in this. And then the king obviously of the house. They're being part of this budget cut. Oh lovely. Yeah. Yeah, man. What's up? I'm really trying to be open and not being so judgmental. But in saying that, time saving and money saving. It's different. It takes away the experience of being spontaneous and the kids shouldn't have to suffer. It's day three of the social experiment and it's shaping up to be a cracking beachside weekend. But at the very boring Peterson home, It's a fun-free zone. Which means fun-loving Kelly is ticked off trading in her weekend for a family working bee. Oh, Kelly. Oh. So, uh, what do we do with this? But dump it there and then everyone grabs their own stuff. Cleaning is an absolute priority in this house. This is what they live for. This is, this is all they do. This is awesome. How much fun is this? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> not enjoying it, Kelly? No, not having fun at all right now. It doesn't seem like it ever ends. The day is sunny outside. It's the weekend. It should be out. We sort of look at this as fun. It's just like you get up, have your coffee, clean. The only time they spend together is when they're cleaning. It's like, oh, Jesus. This is actually therapeutic. We're enjoying this, aren't we, Coco? Not Get out the house and actually do something. Not in this household. There's another rule that Kelly must obey. Oh, the good old sandwiches. I feel like I'm in a factory working. I'm so bored out of my brain with those frozen sandwiches. I don't like this organisation, this whole 
planning ahead. Have you seen Mum eat any of these? It's good that her mum and her are having one-on-one. -on -one. Do you and Mummy talk while you do this, or is it just you guys yeah. just do it, get over and done with? We do talk. But when I said to Coco, well, what do you talk with Mummy? This is your chance to have some bond time. What do you talk about? About the lunches, I guess. Wicked. We talk about sandwiches. It's a beautiful day outside. We could be doing better things. I'm so bored. On the other side of the country, the weekend weather is equally spectacular. You and Kelly come here quite a bit, do you? Oh, yeah. Every now and then we try and get here. It's pretty fancy. And big kid Brendan decides to splash out on a spontaneous lunch date. Thank you. Thanks, love. Cheers. Cheers. Which goes down like a lead balloon with Killjoy Panina. Going out for lunch and drinks would never happen at my house during the day. We're not frivolous with our money, and we certainly don't lunch for no reason. So I was reading in your manual that you guys spend around 2,600 on groceries and entertainment a month. How and I have up? to say, I, nearly, I, did, I did nearly fall off my chair. Yeah, I'm falling <laughs> off my chair now. <laughs> and like, we spend on groceries $250 a month. Really? Yeah, and about probably another 50 on entertainment. Um, Shit. That's like $2,000 spare you could have if you yeah. sort of did sort of what I do. So I'm hoping Kelly's going to learn a little I'm bit about it. I'm going away, eh? <laughs> right, seriously. As the penny finally drops, Brendan's shell shock to find out how much his household actually spends. I think it's a bit outrageous. I didn't really know that until today. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm like. I've been gassed today, like... Oh, I'm going to have to talk to my missus about that. That's a hell of a lot of money we could be putting that towards, like, a bus or a holiday or the next camping trip or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Two grand will go a long way. It's ridiculous, but... So we're just going to slop it on. Whatever. Unaware she's been sprung for overspending. Trip the next pizza. Kelly's bigger issue... Fake away, fake away, fake away. ..is hosting a barbecue for Richard's like-minded, budget-conscious friends. Hi, Kelly, how's it going? Let's oh, get oh. it all on your own. Do you need a hand? No, I seem to be getting it out under control. Just... So have you cooked this from scratch or is this like a frozen one? No, this is a frozen one. Everything on here was frozen. Have you found it easier? No. no. Oh, interesting. Every single day I will shop. Usually start from scratch and do it myself. If you're on a budget, you can't afford to do that. I'm not on a budget. Can't... You're not on a budget? I'm not on a budget. Have you won the lottery? No. <laughs> Seriously? Nope. The conversations between me and one of the guests, I forgot her name. I'm going to say that again because I still can't believe you're not on a budget. I did feel the heckles on my neck raise because I have a person that's coming in who follows Panina's steps. How can you not be on a budget? I wing it. Got money when I need it, but I spend it because I can. Yeah, so most people don't have money just to be able to spend. <laughs> Girls, hate to interrupt, but... Oh, she says she's not on a budget. How can you not be on a budget? She's a one-eyed eagle, mate. No budget. I'm still in shock. <laughs> and I was ready to, like, charge, mate. I just want to understand it. Yeah. <laughs> to see if I'm missing something. You might have there to re-explain There's it. a trick. There's a trick. Don't let your husband have the money. <laughs> She's lucky she backed off. Over in WA, Frugal Panina also entertains friends and family. Sharon Kelly's mother. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> but Brendan is still reeling after discovering his wife has been spending all their cash. So what's going on? How's the new wife, mate? Found out a bit of a bombshell today. Yeah, what's that? They spend $250 a month on food and entertainment compared to our $2,600. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do they do? Nothing, obviously. I hope she teaches me her secret of how she does it, because I, I wouldn't mind knowing how she does it. If she can live off that for a month, that's awesome. And a few hours later, big kid Brendan can't get his wife's big spending ways off his mind. What did we work out? That um, we'd have two lunches for the fortnight and we would have blown your month's budget. Well, and not eat for the rest of the time. Sit. <laughs> Why worry about budget? That's not really life. You need to enjoy life because life's short. I believe that you can still have fun on a budget and it's not, no, actually, I don't believe it's not that. actually about money for me. It's about giving my children a little bit of security for the future. I would love to go to a fun park all the time with my kids. I don't want to do it because that would leave them with nothing. But when then they're we're missing gone. out on stuff. They're well, missing they're not out. really because well, we they actually are do really things. because we they're not things. enjoying what what children do. They are. My kids are really happy. That's what you say. We spend a do, lot do of you time sit with them and realise what the, what they think in their mind. We really would love to put our kids into the dream home. It doesn't matter about all that. It's all material as far as I'm concerned. My life isn't material. We work really hard. We have... Well, so does everybody. Yeah. Everybody works hard. I am not material. I'm very far from that. I am actually quite a frugal, humble person. Been waiting for this. After struggling to live by each other's rules, Kelly and Panina are ready to take control and lay down their own rules. This family spends too much in money. I'm here to change things up. I'm not here to be popular. Richo, Saxon and Coco. Your house is very clean and organised. However, life's too short for endless chores and counting every cent and dollar. While it's good to plan for the future, my new rules are all about enjoying the moment now. Mm -hmm. Richo, you work really hard all day, but when do you ever stop? You should keep back and spend more time with your family. So my first rule is, you are now the king of the house, so your cleaning days are over. <laughs> <laughs> My God. On the subject of cleaning, the kids will do no more chores. Yay. Wow. That's good as. Interesting concept. I'm big on the chores because I think chores teach kids to be capable, self-sufficient, and it's a rewarding thing. You are all a very fun family. All that fun comes at a cost, and I'm here to deliver some rules today that are going to change it up a little bit in this house. Also in my house, we work as a team, and my children and my husband help me with the chores. So we will all be doing chores. And we're not cleaning the house, you are. Jet, you will be taking out the rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Latoya? Nothing wrong with that. You'll be vacuuming the living room floor. Sound good? No. <laughs> the frozen dinners and frozen sandwiches. They save time and money, but it's boring. So my rule is no more frozen dinners and no more frozen sandwiches. Okay, okay. So from now on, I'll be making them fresh daily. My goodness. Mm. I am very big on home organisation. I'm here to deliver structure and order to your home. So I will completely reorganise your home. Using my label maker, you will feel much calmer. OK? Oh, that would be crazy. <laughs> Richo. Sometimes you just have to open the wallet and have some experiences because they are worth every cent. So that is my golden rule. Here we go. This family is going to spend on fun. Ooh. I think you're going to enjoy the trip to tons of fun. I hope we as a family all enjoy it because it's right up my alley. Yes. Right. Sounds like Kelly's just going to grab my wallet and just... <laughs> 
until it's empty. <laughs> So I have a golden rule. <laughs> it's not going to be so bad. Your family spend $2,600 a month on groceries and entertainment. The super savings plan starts now. We will spend around $50 on groceries. <laughs> we are going to cook up seven days worth of food that we will put in the freezer. Cool. I hate these rules. Latoya. You and I are going to make and freeze sandwiches for the entire week. Well, then we're going to package them all up and put them in the freezer and label them. I know you're going to love it. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Brendan's really happy that he's going to save over $2,000 a month. Uh, not so sure the kids are going to be happy. In fact, they're not happy, but they're not my children, so I don't care. <laughs> I hate these rules. So annoying. I'm going to be bad cop pretty much for the rest of my time here. All right, keep your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. right, wait there. And you come forward, darling. Ow. Right there. Feeling smug with her new rules, frozen food hater Kelly is about to unleash on Saxon and Coco's taste buds. Go. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Yum. Lunches are changing, children. So much food. This is what it's all about. Flavour and fun and variety. That's much better than our normal lunches. Isn't it? Friends swap lunch sometimes, but not usually with me because I've got frozen sandwiches. But now that I've got all this new food, I reckon they would definitely want to swap with me. Are we doing ham or are we doing chicken? Chicken. That was quick. Chicken. OK. This is all about putting that little bit of extra love into it. And I put care in what they as an individual want. We now have two fresh rolls, fresh chicken. Yeah, you keep. If you want to keep picking, girl, you keep picking. Hey. Oh, hello. This is what you've been up to. Hello. The kids are absolutely looking so forward to their lunch. But. 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 What? I don't know about school today. What? I think we should do something more fun. <laughs> Kelly's rules, they're good and fun. This is one of your spontaneous moments. But uh, reality check? Wow. You can't live like this every day. Fun first, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's Definitely. do it. Definitely. See you in a minute. <laughs> In WA, the social experiment has entered new territory. New rules happening. Pulling this house apart, putting it back together again. And OCD Panina is enforcing law and order into the cow's home. Today I'm bad cop with my rules. The guru of decluttering is here. And I feel a little bit bad about that, but I really don't because I know in the long run it's better for them. So suck it up, little ones. My rule of thumb with decluttering is to put like items together. Oh, sandwich meat. I would be labelling everything. I don't think this family even knew what a label was. But now, they're going to be able to find everything. Rule number one accomplished, Panina's next mission is to start her super savings plan. Latoya. But moody teenage Latoya can't stomach the idea. Remember my rule, freezing sandwiches for the week? You want to help me? Well, you have to help me. That's the new rule. I am not Latoya's number one mum. But I can tell you that after she's done frozen sandwiches with me, she is going to love me. I can't believe I'm doing this. Your mum is going to love this because she's going to save so much money. How is this all saving money? If you bulk cook, you can save about $600 a month. Mum doesn't care about money. Oh, I'm sure she does a little bit. And she will be well trained from my house. And then she will go, it's her oh. rules now. And they're probably having fun. Oh, this is fun. You look like you're having fun.
so many wow. bells and whistles and lights. Look at that one. That one's insane. Wow. We can fight over there. In Victoria, Push. rebellious Kelly kicks off her golden rule by wagging school for the day. You put the ten money bucks, in. I suppose. Ten bucks? Well, what's wrong with ten bucks? And makes frugal Richard empty his pockets on good old fashioned fun. Twenty. Twenty bucks. Twenty each. That is ridiculous. The point of this is just to show Richard that, you know, money doesn't have to be saved. It can be used for fun. Snap right up and toss them all. Yes! Well done. Thank you. Money's uh, disappearing rapidly. Yeah. What, you only get one go? Yep. OK, then. What? That is ridiculous. You might as well throw your money in the toilet. How are we going on the coins? <laughs> it's burning a hole in Rich's pocket, but do you know what? The family are having so much fun. Oh! Oh! And they're letting themselves go and be happy, and how could you put a price on that? Well, that was $80 in half an hour. That was pretty full on. That is very expensive fun. Yeah, but when you, like, got the money, why count it? Why even worry about how much it was? You gave your kid the best experience, so who cares how much it costs? So that's how I look at it. All right. All right? OK. People can call me tight, that's fine. I'd rather give my kids a house than an arcade game every weekend. That's, that's, that's where I'm at. Back at the cranky cow's house. This is going to be your chore that you do every day it's before dinner, OK? Sing. Only if you don't take it out. Fun police Panina is forcing the kids to be chore-abiding citizens. Bad cop. Bad cop Panina. I don't like Panina's rules. I hate it. Latoya, get going, girl. It's my rules now. Oh, I don't like your rules. Oh, There's just been no on. rules. Well, the toy's not impressed. She's not a very chory girl. If I can stick to it, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be great. Two hands. Just this bit here, the toy, just a little bit here. A little bit more, just on the corner here. Can't wait until Mum comes back. Keep going. We've got to get this finished. At the very mellow Petersons, nobody's missing Mum one little bit. As the family chill out under Carefree Kelly's no chores rule. It is good to be the king. I could get used to this. I really could. The king, your majesty, is putting his feet up. I'm happy that the kids are being kids. They're chilling out. I just wanted them to experience that. Relax. That's what it's all about. I think all Miss Kelly does have rules are pretty good. I don't know if when Mum will come back, she'll she'll make us do them all again, but mm -hmm. hopefully it's less, because we do do a lot. Yeah. After a hard day laying down the law... What do you reckon? You want to call it? Call it a night? Bad Cop Panina extends her structure rule to include earlier bedtimes for the unruly cows' kids. Turn it off and give it to me, please. But phone addicted Latoya is behaving like a typical teenager. Are you listening? Latoya, give me your phone. Now. Unbelievable. I don't think they're unreasonable rules. I think they're fair. I'm going to give you a count of five before I grab it. One. Two. If you can't play bad cop, you're not a good parent. Hand it over. Little respect, please. I've got a hammer in the shed, but it's easier. Nice work. She did it. Excellent. So annoying. Thank you. Suck it up, buttercup. I 
know you love grocery shopping, Latoya. It's my favourite thing to do, like my favourite. I love it. It's the final day of new rules. So I'm just going to buy a week's worth of groceries. It's going to cost us about 50 bucks. And budget-obsessed Panina is adamant about enforcing her super savings golden rule on moody teenage Latoya. This bacon is the budget stuff. Excellent. The new rules is bullshit. I'm not having fun at all. Latoya, you've got to just cheer up, darling. I think it's a valuable lesson for any mother to teach a child how to budget. We've saved so much money. But she doesn't care about money. So I think that might come from the parents. So when your mum shops, does she shop with the budget? Like, does she just throw stuff in the soup, just in the trolley? Whatever's on the list. Really? Yeah. I don't really care. I don't really want to know. Because it's, like, kind of boring for me. We're working to a budget. Awesome, we made budget. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Yep. yep, great. Yes. All right, so the next rule is to go home and make all those dinners up. Let's go. Let's do it. OK. Bet you can't wait. Yeah. Excited. It's no time. Oh. Hey, Japanese Jackie Chen here. <laughs> oh. hey. In Frankston, hey. The Petersons wagging school day continues with lunch at a teppanyaki restaurant. I let them move, move, move. Yeah. <laughs> and frozen food hater Kelly shows the family what life is like beyond the freezer. Yeah. You can do it. You'll get it. This is definitely a new experience for the kids. I've never been to a restaurant like this before. Yeah. Oh, that looks so yummy. Yeah. Definitely coming back here. This is so nice. The best chicken I've ever had. Wow. Well, when you eat from the freezer every night, of course, it's the best chicken you've ever had. Yeah. Everything was just juicy and, like, really nice. It's beautiful. Awesome. Great, isn't it? To have the kids try something and eat it, and, and not only that, enjoy it, was just an absolute pleasure to see. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. And it's so much fun. I know. Hey, Jet. Hello. Ready to do some cooking? No. Well, you're going to love it. Here we go. We're going to cook seven dinners. Back at the cows, Panina's hell-bent on making the family bulk cook a week's worth of frozen dinners. I think Brendan's really happy that he's going to save over $2,000 a month using my strategic savings plan that I've put into place today. OK, guys, we're making a spaghetti bolognese and chicken burgers, pizzas for Fake Away Friday. Jet and I are going to make a pie together. Are we all on the same page? No. Yes, Chef. Panana's bulk food. I'm not going to say it's shitty or bad. I think it's, I think it's great. Oh, there's so much. It just stinks. This is the fastest red sauce you'll ever make in your whole life. Latoya and Jet didn't want to really be there. But my rules are going to make the children understand that when you cook dinner together, it's all bonding while we're saving money, while we're saving time. It's a team effort, new rules, Panina's rules. I want you all working as hard as possible. <laughs> Back in WA, Yay! Kelly's big spending spree on fun oh, yeah. isn't oh. over yet. Sorry, guys, just a few. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right, let's have a look at this. They say who opens it has to pay. $214. It's worth it. Worth every penny. normally pay, but, uh, look, I would have paid $200 for the show, let alone the food, you know. That was that was well worth it. That was value for money, without a doubt. It's not too much. It's not actually much. that bad, I think, considering the amount of food you've got. Worth every penny, yeah, without a doubt. Just pretend you're in an Italian restaurant and you're the boss, OK? Yeah. Jesus Christ, I'd like to be in that kitchen. <laughs> that sauce is good. 
Oh, good. Glad you like it. Your mum will be very proud of you. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Jet was so surprising. He embraced responsibility. He was just all over it. Pull it apart a bit. That's it. It's like, um... Slime. Yeah, it's like slime. Just think of it as slime. I'm really proud of everything he did today. It was really cool. He's a good kid. Kelly's gonna love this. And we have cooked up meals for an entire week for $50. For 50 bucks, it's pretty good. Yeah. Sweet. The bulk lunches and tea and serving two grand a month this is awesome. I just hope when the wife gets home, the real one, she can follow suit with me. Ta-da! Dinner is done. But without that backing of my wife, what am I supposed to do? After swapping lives with a complete stranger, the social experiment is now over. And our wives prepare to reunite with their loved ones. Oh, it has been such a roller coaster, the experiment. It's just a, a real eye opener. I've come away with so many little gems of information, and it's changed my life a little bit. Panina is way too organised for me. I actually did have a moment before and I thought, my poor children. I can't wait to see what journey they went on. Mm. Right, let's get this thing in. Whoa, it's a bit of weight in that. Well, this is it, guys. Well, yeah, OK. See you later, sweetheart. It's been lovely to meet you. We enjoyed our little expeditions that we did. Oh, high five. Do you want to grab a sandwich? <laughs> don't even go there, mate. Mate, don't even go there. Before returning home, the couples will meet halfway to discuss their experiences. But first, they'll reunite with each other. Hurry up and get here already. <laughs> Why, hello, baby! <laughs> oh. Come here, you little spunky thing. I missed you. Bloody hell. What? I've been, I've been hanging for that. <laughs> been a long week without you. Our couples can now come face to face for the first time. Brendan, Richard. Finally meet you. How are you going, buddy? I'm Hi. Kelly. I'm Kelly. 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 I know all awesome. about your life. Penina, when I first walked in your house, I opened up the freezer and I was like, oh! It was just so confronting because everything was so labelled and so neat. Having every single day planned out for a month was just like, why? How do I know what I'm going to be feeling like on Tuesday? So my first rule was no more frozen sandwiches. <gasps> I did a fresh sandwich, I had a roast chook, I gave them a choice of wraps and rolls. Well, I hope they enjoyed it, cos they won't be getting those again. <laughs> Saxon did come to me and say, I'd rather this than these frozen. If you go home and he goes, but I don't want it frozen, will you just be saying to him, too bad? No, he'll have to go up to the bakery every day and buy himself some rolls. And look, the other part of this story that you're not getting yet is it, it does come down to budget as well. Like, yeah. roast chickens are, like, $8 each. You guys are living your dream. But in the back of my mind, I kept thinking about the kids because they didn't ask for your dream to get mortgage free. So I thought to myself, where's the fun? You make fun with chores, and I thought that was boring. So I'm like, this is what I'm here to do. Fun, fun, fun. So my golden rule was this family is going to spend on fun. So yes, I took the family out. It did cost us quite a lot of money. Was it worth it? Absolutely. The kids had a ball. Even you said, Rich, you can't take yeah, that Yeah, that'll back. be all memories now. Be, you know, totally, mate. And we wouldn't do that normally, but we just sort of got into it. It's like, whatever. And the wallet just kept opening and money was just going... <laughs> I realised that we're very different in our approach to children. You very relaxed family and live by the moment. But like, you spend $2,600 a month on groceries and entertainment. Whoa! 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. And you were even shocked oh, by that. I was very shocked. Jesus, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, which is a lot. Like, our spend for groceries and entertainment is two fifty a month. Like, that extra $2,000 is what we put into a mortgage. I told Brendan and then just um, also discussed with him. Don't even look at me like that, mate, because do you know what? You enjoy it, so shut up. But I don't know about it. But you enjoy it and you don't whinge when you ask for something, can I give it to you? You don't go without anything, so it's working. So don't go, don't even look at me like that. We'll negotiate it when we, we will. find out We're what sure I'm telling we'll you now. About it, that's don't sure. even go there with me without look. You don't whinge any other time. After swapping lives, our couples are sharing their struggles with the social experiment. But big spender Kelly isn't seeing eye to eye with budget obsessed Panina. You guys are spending $2,600 a month on groceries and entertainment. But really, the excess money that you guys spend is what would pay our mortgage. So if you put in some systems in the house like we are doing, you could have a mortgage and actually own your own house. Like, you would have a lot more if you just reined it in a little bit. So we went to the supermarket and we bought $50 worth of food. And as a family, we meal prepped. And Jed, he was amazing. He was just like... He did more than toy out. He was Mr Pizza. He was smashed out what? How many pieces did we make? Five pizzas. And then he smashed out two bloody big pies. Oh, my God. If that pie was then frozen... It was frozen. We yeah. took it out and defrosted it. Oh, yeah, next yeah. night, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it was about 10 meals. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it was a lot Spaghetti of food. Spaghetti bolognese, chicken carbonara, bloody... Everyone had fun doing it. Yeah. He was really awesome. impressed. This is awesome. Yeah. And Latoya and I made frozen sandwiches together. Why? Fuck it out. When you go home, you've got a freezer full of dinners and frozen sandwiches. Yes. Have you tasted one of these frozen sandwiches? I had four of them. Oh! <laughs> no! Brendan's happy because he doesn't have to pack his lunch. And your verdict, your final verdict on it, like, you're real honest. I'll give that a tick of an approval. Oh, oh so nice. Right. Nice. I think you'll like it. Yeah, she will. You will. Trust me. Oh, my. Kelly, I just want to thank you on behalf of our family for coming in and spending a week with us. You're a breath of fresh air. The kids loved you. Mm. And you've taught us, I think, the most important thing, having a bit of fun. That's a big lesson. I've taken that on board. Well, thank you. And all mums want the best for their kids. Yeah. So thank you. You're very welcome. Come on. Anyone who comes into my home and, and helps, helps us. She cared. She really cared. I'm very thankful. You're very welcome. I won't give up me completely, but I'm willing to focus more on my future and stop living so much about the now. So I'm, I'm aware of the whole super saving will help. I'll send you a summary of how to do it. <laughs> We've uh, officially finished. Game over. Oh, it's a bit sad. Come here. Well, it is, but... Thanks for the memories. Same with you, Fernanda. Oh, thank you <laughs> so much for everything. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for being good to my kids. Armed with plenty to think about, our wives can finally return home to their families. Look who I've got. Hi. <laughs> it's been life-changing. And I think we always had it in us to live moment to moment. And this experiment's made us more aware of, so yeah. it's woken us up. Yeah, it has. As me. We're not going as far overboard as Kelly did, but we're going to have some changes. We're going to have some fun. Teppanyaki, what do you reckon? Yes! Yeah? Yes. Yeah. This whole journey 
hopefully we can plan some things around our life and start saving some money for our, our own journey in life. And oh, you sound all mature and shit. Well, I am. I'm mature. Oh, my God. Let's see the damage. What has she done to my house? Oh, my God. <clears throat> I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to stay. Really? No. Nah. Captivate the crowd, the cheers and applause. We're so proud. We got that vibe song. It's in our head. Melodies will make us move. We can't help but dread. Hands up in the air. We're lost in the sound. We're catching that electric feeling. We're floating off the ground. The song. Dance floors our stage, our kingdom of groove Where dreams ignite and inhibitions we remove We're addicted to the rhythm, it's our heartbeat With every move we feel the music complete And the pop songs rain 